The suspension of link bus services has forced passengers to opt for other transport means, but this has left many stranded. <laughs> So, to job much career and go to Laura. So, after some time, the new one was offered a bus in Kavir Kanazu, the Guinea Zijuida Mount of Sigar. At baby coach bus offices in Fort Porto, we found passengers stranded with their luggage waiting for the bus that had not reached. Passengers say, due to the influx, the transport fee has been doubled from 20,000 to 40,000 shillings. <laughs> Akankwasa Edward, the manager baby coach in Fort Porto, defends this saying passengers are many as compared to the available buses. Akankwasa pleads with the government to reduce on the suspension period to minimize on transportation challenges. Government among the affected are students going back to schools for their second term. Waste time waiting for the bus and work. The suspension time is all delaying our work as us. And some of us were students, so we need to go as others also. Zubaida Namatovu, the former inspector, Link Bus Services, says the suspension and investigations on accidents should not only focus on Link Buses. Buses are just the one in front and in front that is the same as the Katiwashi, but we need to have Link Bus for Kuimi that yes, also call an accident or we see where Kanya move on. By press time, some passengers had opted to use taxis for easy movement.